Let's take a look at your primary retouching tools. I'm going to zoom in with Command Plus or Control Plus, and we'll start with one of the longest existing tools in Photoshop, the Clone Stamp. Today, I use the Clone Stamp tool mostly to remove objects from an image completely. I rarely touch it for skin repair, and here's why. If I wanted to take out these wrinkles, I will hold down Alt or Option, click once to sample from here, and as I let go and move up and click and drag, you're seeing there's a color shift where I'm doing my repair because this is a lighter area than the under eye. I'm going to undo that or step backward and we'll take a look at the spot healing brush. This is a wonderful and very easy to use tool, but it has one drawback in my opinion. Photoshop picks for you where to do the repair and what to repair it with. So sometimes you get cloned areas of an image that you don't want to get in doing your retouching. So with this spot healing brush tool, I can just simply sweep over the wrinkle, let go, and it's magically gone. It decided what to take it away with, and how to blend. Now in this spot, if I zoom in a little bit more, you'll notice it is blurring as it applies the repair. And it actually took some of the darker gray shadow and duplicated it down here. In fact, if I was cleaning up her eyebrows, it does a pretty decent job. But depending on whether you drag up and down or left and right, sometimes it may clone part of an eye over part of the skin, just depending on what you're trying to fix and which direction you drag. Although it's doing an outstanding job here, so I highly recommend this for the beginners. But at the top of this eyebrow, you'll notice how the color is starting to change. So I'm going to choose File, Revert to revert back to the last saved version, and that way no repairs have happened. The next tool I'll show is the Healing Brush tool. And the Healing Brush tool is exactly like the Clone Stamp with one added benefit. It contrasts, adjusts, or balances the area you're cloning from to the area you're cloning to so the color and tone match more accurately. If I hold down Alt or Option just like I did with the Clone Stamp earlier and click once and let go, and move up and click and drag, you could see a big color shift. But when I let go, I'm letting go now, it magically balances to the darker area. If I click and drag again, that plus sign below is the skin it's cloning from. Let go, and it balances to the area it's cloning to. A beautiful tool. But the hard thing for beginners, for me to teach, is watching two birdies. That's what I call it. Holding down Alt or Option and clicking once, and letting go and clicking and dragging, you have to watch that plus sign. It's not so dangerous here, but if I were to pick her nose, for example, Alt or Option click, and come up and try to repair her under eye, it starts very well doing the repair, but if I move down too low, I'm actually cloning her nose under her eye. And while it adjusted here, it tried to blend that very dark area where the skin is, but a lot of people don't watch that plus sign while they're cloning. So to make it even easier, I'll revert one more time. And my favorite easiest tool to teach to repair skin is the patch tool because you choose how large of an area to repair and you choose exactly what part of the image to use to do the repair. So with the patch tool, I can make a selection of this wrinkle, click and drag down, let go, and it just blends with a lot less evidence than some of the other tools. I'm careful not to get the eyelashes in there because I don't wanna blur them. Since it does contrast, adjust, and blend, things can tend to look blurry. So you want to avoid areas that have high contrast, like eyelashes. I made this selection. I click and drag down, and it blends 
perfectly away. If I come up to the eyebrows, make a selection, drag to good skin, it blends away, but you will notice a little bit more of a dark tone. You can keep patching the same area over and over again, but this is when I might use something like Dodge to lighten or even the clone stamp tool to get a lighter pattern here where the repair needs to happen and then patch away. But patch is beautiful on moles, on blemishes, on almost anything. The beautiful advantage for me is I don't have to teach people how to option click or alt click to choose their start point. They simply circle the bad, drag to the good. And that is our overview of patching, spot healing brush, healing brush, and the clone stamp tool. Try each on your own.